a big boy. Say cheese. Caillou was making sure that he colored his tractor as red as he possibly could. Say cheese. <laughs> I found my old camera in the attic, and I thought I'd take a picture of you. I want to see it. Well, oh, the photograph takes a minute to appear. If you touch the surface, it'll smudge. Caillou couldn't believe that the photograph was appearing right before his very eyes. It was like magic. Wow! Can I try? Sure you can. Here you go. You look through this little window to see what the camera sees. When you want to take a picture, just press this button. Okay. And that's it. Now, what should we take a picture of? Gilbert! <laughs> Gilbert, stop! Okay, Gilbert. Say cheese! Gilbert did not make a very good subject, but Caillou was anxious to see what the photograph would look like. That's okay, Caillou. Cats are pretty tricky to photograph. You need someone who will stay nice and still. Just give me a minute and I'll help you get a good photo. But Caillou wanted to take a picture by himself, and he thought he knew the perfect person to photograph. Since Rosie was napping, Caillou thought she was sure to stay nice and still. Oh. Uh, no, no, Rosie, it's okay. Caillou was getting discouraged. Not one photograph turned out right. Huh. It won't work right, Daddy. Why don't you take a picture of me? Okay. <laughs> keep the camera still, and remember to keep your fingers away from the lens. <gasps> Caillou was very proud of this photograph. It had turned out perfectly. You know, most famous photographers have assistants to help them out so they can take better pictures. Maybe I can be your assistant. Excuse me, ladies, but could we take your picture? Why, of course. Say cheese. Cheese. Caillou felt very proud. He liked taking pictures a lot. <laughs> I got him this time. You sure did. Those are great pictures, Caillou. But I think you need one more. Caillou had a nice picture of everyone in the family alone. But Daddy thought it would be nice to have a picture of the whole family together. Say cheese, everybody! Cheese! cheese. Finders keepers! Caillou and his best friend Leo were playing in the backyard when they had a little problem. They both wanted to play with the same truck at the same time. Wants to drive his truck. It's Farmer Dan's truck. He wants to put the cow in it. But Farmer George had the truck first. But it's my truck. Get Farmer George another truck. I could get another truck. And I could also get an airplane. You have an airplane? Let's go get it. Caillou and Leo went to find Caillou's toy airplane so they would both have something special to play with. I don't see an airplane. It's not in here. 
I want you to clean up the toys on those messed up papers that you just took out of the cupboard. found everything but an airplane. My screwdriver and Grandma's sunglasses. Thanks. I've been looking for the screwdriver everywhere. Caillou and Leo felt very proud of themselves. You can keep the change. Oh. I want you to put the cushions back on the sofa and leave everything the way it was before you got here. Caillou and Leo were happy about the money, but they still hadn't found what they were looking for. Now we have to find my airplane! <laughs> this mess you've made. Uh, okay, Mommy. Caillou and Leo were a little disappointed that after all their searching, they still hadn't found the toy airplane. Maybe it's over there. Rosie and I went shopping, so I want you and Leo to make the bed and tidy up the mess you've made. Look, Mommy! Oh, I can't believe you found this. I lost it years ago. Thank you, Caillou. Thank you, Leo. 
Wait till I show your daddy. Caillou and Leo were very pleased to make Caillou's mommy so happy. Now tidy up your room, and then you can come downstairs for a snack. Okay, mommy. <laughs> searching they finally found the airplane and they cleaned up all the mess they made too this is a great farm yeah i have a train too let's get it uh, i don't know where it is we can find it after finding so many lost things Caillou felt sure they could find just about anything a frog in Caillou's throat Oh, Caillou! Come on in, you're soaking wet. I like the rain, Mommy. I jumped in all the puddles. I'm cold. <laughs> Let's get you out of these wet clothes and into something dry. Well, that's good. You don't have a fever. My throat feels scratchy, Mommy. <laughs> it hurts. Hmm. Maybe we should give you some medicine for that scratchy throat. I don't want to. I don't like medicine. Here, try it. It tastes like grapes. Caillou, this will help make your throat feel better. Please try. <laughs> want to take the medicine, but he didn't want his throat to hurt either. There, that wasn't so bad, right? Now, I want you to head straight to bed and get a good night's sleep, okay? The next morning, not only was Caillou's throat still scratchy, but he found he couldn't talk. Caillou, time to get up. Uh-oh. Sounds like you have a frog in your throat, Caillou. Uh-huh. And no, not a real frog. It just sounds like one. You're not warm, but I think that scratchy throat of yours has turned into laryngitis. Until you get your voice back, I don't want to hear a peep out of you, understood? We have to let your throat get better. In the meantime, how about some breakfast, okay? Caillou? <laughs> What can I get you for breakfast? You can have anything you want. Do you want some pancakes? French toast? A bowl of cereal? Caillou didn't know how to tell his daddy that he wanted something warm that wouldn't scratch his throat. I know. We're going to play a game of charades to figure out what you want to eat, okay? Try and show me what you want. Game! Game! Yay! The fridge. It comes out of the fridge, right? Eggs. You're cracking eggs. You're mixing up the eggs. Could it be scrambled eggs? Eggs! Me too! I guess I better get cracking. Caillou spent the rest of the day playing charades so as not to speak. Caillou woke up the next morning feeling much better. His throat wasn't sore anymore. Caillou, how does your throat feel today? Mommy, I got my voice back. That's great. So I guess that frog in your throat must be gone then. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Caillou the Great. It's Leo's birthday and everyone's very excited. There was a magician about to perform magic tricks just for them. I am Revel the Great! Watch very carefully as I make a rabbit appear out of my hat. But first I must say the magic words. Abracadabra! Alakazoo! Yeah, wow! Caillou 
was amazed. He wanted to see if the bunny was real. Can I pet him? Oh, of course you can. Me too. Can I? Now, for my next trick, I will make the rabbit disappear using my special magic cape. On the count of three. One, two, three. Why, you couldn't believe his eyes. The bunny was there one minute, and then it was gone. Ta-da! Wow! Now, Leo, <coughs> since you're the birthday boy, I want you to be my helper. Oh, boy! Now, make sure that the scarves are all separated. Caillou couldn't wait to see what Bravo was about to do with all the colorful scars. He loved watching magic tricks. Good. Now watch carefully. Hocus Pocus Funny Fun. Scarves, scarves must be won. Show me how. <laughs> A magician never reveals how he does a trick. Here's one that you can do, Caillou. Now, watch very closely. Which hand has the penny? It was in your ear the whole time. <laughs> For being such a good sport, you can keep my magic penny. Thanks. Bye, Clementine! Bye! I'm going to be a magician just like Bravo. Which hand? That one. <laughs> You're not a magician. Caillou was disappointed. He really wanted to be a magician. And Bravo said that it was a magic penny. He didn't understand why it didn't work. Hi, everyone. Happy birthday, Leo. Are you all set, Caillou? Bye, Caillou! Bye! Whoa! Whoa! No, Rosie! That's mine! Caillou, let Rosie play with the truck. Caillou was in a bad mood because his magic penny wasn't working and Leo had said that he wasn't a magician. Did you have fun at Leo's party? I heard there was a magician. That must have been lots of fun. He gave me his magic penny. I want to be a magician, too. Well, it takes lots of practice to be a magician. Let me see that magic penny of yours. It doesn't work. I think Daddy would know how to make it work. Why don't you go and ask him to help you? Daddy! In here, Caillou. Daddy! My magic penny doesn't work, and I want to be a magician. Really? Hmm. Let's see. Did you say a magic word? Well, that's why it's not working. Every magician needs a magic word. Can you think of one? Alakazoo? Perfect. Now, try your magic on me. It's in that one. Alakazoo. Ta-da! Caillou felt like a real magician now. He wanted to do more magic. Now you're Caillou the Great. Here, why don't you put this on? All great magicians wear magic capes. For my next trip, I need a helper. <laughs> to make Gilbert disappear with my magic cape. Count to three. One, two... Gilbert! Gilbert! Three! Ta-da! He's gone! I'm Caillou the Great. I make Gilbert disappear. How do I get him back? Well, what do magicians do when they want something to reappear? I know! Alakazoo! Gilbert! Caillou made Gilbert.
Albert reappear with his magic word. He really loved being a magician, and he wanted to do more tricks. Come on, Rosie. I want to show you another trick. Watch. This coin is magic. A magician gave it to me. Which hand has the pen? <laughs> my favorite magician. Want to see my magic tricks? That sounds like fun. Okay, wait a minute. Caillou loved putting on a magic show for his family. He felt proud. He even made up a few tricks of his own. Watch me pull a rabbit from my hat. Thank <laughs> you. 